Okay, for this problem, we have 11.3 converting between logarithmic and exponential equations. And so this is the logarithmic um, form, and then this is the exponential form. So pay special attention to the position of each of the different letters, okay? So this is log with a base B and an argument A equal to this value, okay? And this value is an exponent because what you'll learn about logarithms are logarithms are logarithms are just another way of describing an exponent. I didn't want to use e for exponent because then that gets confused with the natural number e, which is 2.74, 2.78, sorry. So I couldn't use an e. I didn't want to use an x either for exponent, right? It kind of goes with it. Um, just because for that, uh, we actually will be putting variables in here eventually, and I don't want you to get confused with the x in the formula versus the x that's in your problem, okay? So I just wanted to be very careful there. Um, and it looks like I, oh, I was messing around and spilled something. So now it's in my words. Kind of faded it out there a little bit. That's okay. Um, so for us, they want us to be able to practice going back and forth between the two forms. Okay, so this is the logarithmic form, and in the exponential, notice that when this is called the base of the logarithm, it's also the base of the exponential. Notice that the logarithm is equal to the exponent, and that's the exact same place where it's placed, right? This is in the exponent position. And then this argument ends up going to the other side, okay? So another way I to describe on how these get switched is I always say the base will stay the base and then the A and the C will switch okay sides from the equal sign so notice here the base is on the left side of the equal sign and the base is still on the left side of the equal sign but the A and the C switch sides over that equal sign okay um, and vice versa so the base stays the base of the logarithm and then the C and the A which sides, right? Uh, so that's how I usually rewrite these. So here, if I look at this, this is an exponential expression because there's no logs. I want to convert this into a logarithm. Notice that my base here is 4 and my exponent is negative 3, okay? Which leaves this guy as left to be described as A. And so I can put them in all the correct positions and get the, the get the logarithmic form. But what I like to do is I say log base, the same base as I have there, and then these two guys are gonna switch. So instead of the negative three here with the four, I'm now gonna have the one over 64 on the same side as the four. And then the negative three has no choice but to now be on the other side of the equal sign, okay? Now be very careful. Um, it does get kind of confusing because this is a fraction. If it helps you better, know that log and equal to negative 3 are all on the same line, okay? Even the 1 over 64 is on the same line, okay? The 4, though, is a subscript. So just like an exponent is a superscript, it's like lifted up a little bit and written smaller, it's the same thing with the logarithm's bases. They're written lower and a little smaller, okay? So I don't want you to be writing things like log 4 of 1 over 64 because this is not the correct notation, okay? And not only that is it'll get real confusing later as to what is your argument and what is not your argument. So like here, the 1 over 64 is my argument. Now, you can write that as log with the superscript and then have the fraction 1 over 64. But you've got to remember again that this is a subscript and this is a regular number 1 over 64. That's also a regular number. And log itself is written like a regular number. So all of these three things should be on the same line and in the same size font. 
It's only this one that's a super, that's a subscript, so it's shifted downward, and then it's also written smaller, okay? So just make sure, just like when you write this, these guys are on the same line and they're the same size, but that guy is lifted up and then written smaller, right? Look at that, it's a negative three, and it's written a lot smaller than this four, isn't it? Okay? So that's just a notation thing so that you don't get confused on what you're reading or what you're seeing or what you're writing, okay? So notice I want us to go the other way around. So now I'm given a logarithm and I want to give them the um, exponential form, okay? And so what we need to do here is we need to be able to switch the forms. Now notice here that the base is six. So when I do the exponential, my base is gonna be a six. And then these two guys are gonna switch sides. So instead of the six being with the six, now the one is gonna be with the six and it becomes my exponent. And then the other six has no choice but to be on the other side. Now remember, if you're ever confused on whether you place one correctly, this has to be the base and a logarithm equals an exponent. So this has to be the exponent, okay? And then this guy has no other choice but to be on the other side because there's only three positions in that exponential form, and that's the base, the exponent, and then the argument. And the log, the what I'm taking the log of is going to be called your argument. So that six right there is called the argument. And this one, of course, is called the base. As long as you can get those down, you can kind of see where this A, B, and C are coming from, okay? But it's just a matter of putting the people in the correct position when you rewrite them and in the correct font. Because notice here the B is a subscript, so it's written smaller and lower. Here B is a regular number, so it's written bigger and, and of normal font. Here um, C is an exponent, but it's what the logarithm is equal to, so it's written regular font, regular number, right? But over here, it is an exponent shown in the exponential expression, and so it's lifted up as a superscript with a smaller font. So it's very important just to recognize not only the position that they're moving into, but then how large and where you're going to be writing these numbers. So definitely practice that topic. They'll give you quite a few of them to try, and you just gotta switch them all into the correct forms.